Terry Hart. We've got bad blood in today's entertainment city, and not the Taylor Swift kind. Kim Coates, Paul Servino, and their co-stars have a hit on their hands with their new mobster drama, and they're not the least bit surprised that Canadians are digging it. Organized crime has its hand in all of it. I love the dynamic between you and Anthony. I just think Thanks. that every scene between you guys has just got all these levels of complication. How hard did you work on that, and how much was that just the magic of the two of you? We didn't work at all. We just, <laughs> uh, we just, you know, we made it all up. Hmm, we're pretty sure Kim Coates and Anthony LaPaglia aren't making up that amazing on-screen chemistry, just like all of Bad Blood's drama isn't made up either. The limited series is, of course, based on the life of notorious real-life Montreal mobster Vito Rizzuto. And as it heads into its fourth episode tonight, the cast tells me why everyone is finding bad blood so bloody good. What do you think it is that people are responding to? I think people are excited about a story that is somewhat their own. We always give these infamous mafiosos and mob stories and recognize them as something more American from New York, Chicago, but... This is a Canadian story and a Canadian family. We all want that power. I'd like to be able to get a phone and say, oh, I want you to waste that guy. <laughs> it doesn't happen. What I get when I do that is I get, this is Walmart, how may I help you? <laughs> there is no one who your father trusts more with his affairs than Declan. It's very, very epic and sad by the end, but it's so gripping. What do you think? The time for diplomacy is over. Small screen scene stealer Annie Murphy is known for being one of TV's favorite goofballs. What is your favorite season? Awards. In real life, the Canadian Shit Creek star is not a spoiled socialite, but she does know a beauty secret or two, and she lets us in on them. I don't have a whole lot of them, uh, but what I do do, <laughs> do do, um, what I do tend to do <laughs> is, uh, you know in Mrs. Doubtfire, when Robin Williams plants his face into the cake and then comes out with a whole bunch of icing all over his face, I apply that amount of moisturizer to my face every night and sleep with that on. And that's my number one beauty tip. I love Annie Murphy. Coming up tomorrow, we have the stars of Mark Felt, the man who brought down the White House. For Entertainment City, I'm Terry Hart.